Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya Slivers, and we won the die roll up against uh, Static. So we're going to see what we can get here. Turn down the volume on that a little bit. Um, yeah, can't keep it. Can't keep it. It's tempting because we've got the gem hide, but just can't do it. Can't do the one landers. So we're going to mulligan, and we'll keep this. We got plenty of lands. We got plenty of lords. Uh, it's a good start. It's decent. We'll just chuck back one of these forests and be on our merry way. Uh, so let's see how it goes. Come on. Static. Static. Static -y. Let's do it. Alright, I don't know. Maybe he's mulliganing a little bit. Maybe he'll mulligan further down than us. That'd be nice. Alright, we will keep this. They kept. We're gonna dump one. And we're gonna say go. Boop. There we go. Alright, full seven cards. He's going forest. He's going elves. Are we going against some ramp again? I wonder. Ooh. All right. Let's go muscle first. Next turn, we can dump the Viverlance alongside a Sinew or a Predatory. Whatever we feel. Unless we draw something better. Ooh, Garrick's Companion. 3-2 Trample Boy. All right, we can beat that. Dump another elf. Yep, dump another elf. Sure thing. Ramp away. Another Lord? I will take that gladly. That's beautiful. Let's keep outpacing their big boys. I uh, won't attack in this turn. I could offer the trade, but I don't think it's really worthwhile right now. Not when we've got two more Lords on the way, you know? All right. No land. So four mana. Another companion. It's a good card. 3-2 Trample for two. It's not bad. You got another one? Ooh. So now I'm kind of confused. Is this Elves or is this some kind of ramp? Because I've only ever seen this in Elves. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, look at that beauty. Beep, beep. And we'll go beep, beep. Boop, boop, boop. And now I will attack. If they want to trade a two for one, that's fine with me. But they are just going to full-fledged take it all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So that's, uh, I don't know what else they could have up their sleeve, but we've got blockers. Uh, I, I guess they can gain some life here. I guess they're going to bank on that. They can only gain three right now. Uh, they drew a land, okay. So they can get down maybe another elf and then, yeah, all right. And it's the play lobby we go. That's how we do it. That's <laughs> Play lobby we go. Let's see what our draw would have been. Just another land, then another lord. The sidewinder would have been nasty, but, uh, oh, now I'm curious. Lead the stampede. Lead the stampede would have been a big bust. Holy crap. All right, well. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. A uh, nice little quick straight to the lobby leave off of our opponent here, but that's how it goes. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see what else they had going on in their deck, but... Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some more Naya Slivers. We're up against Static. Did I play him? I think I played him. Or is this the guy that left? I recorded a match that was, like, pretty good for us, uh, but they left after we destroyed them game one. Uh, we got a mulligan, unfortunate, we got a mulligan, unfortunate, and we can keep, uh, we'll just go ahead and get rid of these, say done, and see if Static's playing mono, green, something, it was like a mix between ramp and elves, from what I remember, yep, yeah, you guys didn't see this one, um, very interesting, he plays with a big, uh, Three one two two mana three one something like that. Uh, very interesting. I was kind of confused because then they brought in um, Wellwisher, the Elvish Wellwisher, which is tap it, uh, gain one life for each elf you control. So it was a really weird like ramp style thing. I mean, you'll see. He's been, I guess he's been practicing with it, and trying to see how it does. But uh, 
he didn't want to stick around last time so maybe um maybe if this one goes well i'll show you the first game too if i still have it i might have deleted it i ended up having to keep recording for the day because just like it was like a three minute video you know Uh, yep, Findhorn, that's what he played last time, he played two Findhorns, and then he plays this two mana, uh, not this, this is new, but he goes for these, like, two mana big boys, uh, kicker, two counters on it, each creature you control with a counter has trample, yep, okay, so it wasn't kicked, he's just putting down a 2-2, he knows what to expect with the slivers, basically, uh, we are gonna go gem hide, since we're not attacking in, let's just get that double scary poisonous down. As we've seen be so effective so many times. Next turn we can empty our hand out and just wait for a minute until we find the need to swing in. So it's gonna be some life gain that we're gonna be up against here, unfortunately, but we'll see. What's the play? Four mana. Provoke. Can't be blocked by more than one creature. Ooh. Provoke. Wow. Okay. Let's see what we can find here. A nice plated would be good. Winding way. I'm wondering if I should just go winding way so i can go both lords down everything can become a three three we can trade with him or we can try to pop off with a winding way interesting i think i'm gonna just go winding way creature that's pretty good so let's just empty everything out here set up for a a nice turn this turn next turn we'll see what they want to provoke like that's going to be the interesting part they need to be concerned about our virulence at this point basically uh they can kill whatever they want doesn't really matter to me i guess the worst thing would honestly well no i don't know we'll see we'll see what they do we'll see if they want to provoke cool looking card croissant vorine cat beast three two with provoked hmm. it's a nice card They are going to go in, but will they actually provoke? They're provoking my gem hide. That's smart. That's smart. But honestly, don't we just like... Well, let's see what they play here. Let's freak them out with red. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Gyruk's Companion, that's the card that I kept seeing in the previous game. They brought out like two of these. Another Gyruk's Companion. So we got Triple Poisonous though. That's the big thing. Well, this is a good attack either way, because we can trade out with everything, and they're still going to get hit for six poisonous. Uh, oh, and everything has flanking. Oh, yeah, this is fantastic. They're just screwed. I forgot we had a flanker out. That's what I was saying by, like, gem hide is a good target for, for, for the provoke, but we've got so many things to deal with here. They really had to be careful. I forgot we had the, the flanking out, though. I was like, oh, yeah, we'll set up. We'll just trade out a bunch of stuff, you know, no big deal. But, uh... I mean, they're taking nine poisonous here, and we're gonna trade out. Uh, we're not even gonna trade anymore because of the flanking. They're just gonna take a crap ton. And I'm pretty sure this is how it went the first game. <laughs> so we'll see if they wanna hang around. 
went very similar where I just like attacked in and they're just like, nah, I'm done. By all means, take your turn. Can't get hit by anything next turn, you know? So now they just need to hold up blockers like crazy. Yep. All right, he's staying around for the sideboard. Everything's turning sideways, so swift response seems reasonable. Prismatic seems reasonable. Take out. I don't think I really want Hunter in this matchup, honestly. So maybe we can drop a Hunter, drop a Gem Hide, drop a Winding. Do I need to play with both Prismatic or should I just do one? Or should I play, you know, I should drop like one Swift Response if anything. I might be better. Let's try it like that. Uh, Prismatic, Swift Response, yeah, sure. Sure, sure. All right. It's a keepable hand. We got some refill. Not a lot of power, but we do have answers. So that's nice. We might be getting beat down for a minute. Those three twos. That's all, that's all they bank on. They just play elves and then they play a bunch of three two creatures. For two mana. Yep. Another sentinel. Not really what you want to see, but it's a creature. I was considering cutting one of these too. Maybe I should have. See. I'm considering, like, should I switch response and elf, but, like, their plays start at two mana, so I don't think it's going to matter too much. Gemhide's nice, though. Gemhide's really nice. Uh, do I want to gemhide now or later? Uh, I guess we'll gemhide now. Just start getting set up. These refills are going to be huge. Planet War Visionary. Cool. See, then it's like these weird big trample creatures, but then they've got so many freaking elves in here. It's like, wait, are you trying to be elves? Like I said, he had a well-wisher, and then he was like going to start gaining some life, but it, it was very bizarre. I'm going to include it in the video. All right, bet. Uh, let's see. I think I'm just going to put down my peeps here. They seem to be taking their time. We'll take our time. We can start getting in there soon. One mana. But they got five, six now. What cards are you holding in your hand? Whenever a beast enters the battlefield, may draw. That's a great card for them. I mean, I like the deck. I think it's kind of cool. It's an interesting thing, but just don't see how effective it is against slivers. So here comes a Garrick. Oh, see, there's the Wellwisher. See that? Uh, I wonder if they... See, he main decked it last time. He had it first game. So I wonder if he has it just sideboarded now. It's going to become an issue. They can gain a lot each turn. So I'm definitely going to kill that. 110%. Well, now we just can start slamming. He can gain a bit for one turn. And then he's not going to be a happy camper. 
He might even just have to block here, you know? Is he just taken? He's just taken. All right. Uh, then I am going to put down another one of these guys and hold up swift response for that well wisher. He thinks he's safe, but he is not. <laughs> Excuse my coughing. I've got a tickle in my throat. Oh, it was so over. Look at all those lords we were drawing. So the moment he smashed Wellwisher, we were just going to switch response to it, take it out. But at least he stayed for the full game. So I appreciate it. Um, interesting deck. Let me know what you guys think about it. And stay tuned for more slivers coming up next week. We've got some more Call of Duty on the weekend. And stay tuned for our Sunder, Bo Sunder Sunday Booster Cracking. If you haven't seen this week's Sunday Booster Cracking, we pulled a very huge, expensive card. Go check out the video. And uh, yeah, we will see you guys in the next one.